KCRG.com. Always there, always on. All right, thanks for staying with us here at Midday. We are taking your calls right now for our veterinarian, David Graff. So give us a ring on Newsline 9, 365-9999. Who's this frisky little guy you have with you? His, his name's Riley. He's having a party. Yeah. Um, he's from the Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control, and he's about 12 weeks old. Okay. And he's up for adoption, and he's just purring really loud. Oh, yeah, he's he's a riot. I was holding him before, and he was kind of going after my necklace, but um, definitely curious and a very sweet little little boy who needs a home. So if you're looking for something to be thankful for tomorrow, perhaps a little kitty could to add to your family. So uh, one thing we wanted to touch on, and I, I know we kind of mention this every year, about this time is when people have a lot of family over yep. and they're all looking for, you know, uh, the animals are all around, dogs, cats alike, yep. and other animals. Uh, are any food scraps okay? I mean, you know, if you're, if you're one of those people who's like, well, I'm gonna give them something, is there anything that is okay? From the table. Well, I, I have a zero tolerance on that. So I'm there. So the, you would the, say no. The, the true answer is there's probably some things that wouldn't hurt celery, carrots, but the, the trouble is dogs don't eat one or two. They eat a lot. Right. And, they don't have a portion control and, thing. And every year we get calls because the dog got into the ham or the dog got into the turkey and the, mm -hmm. and the dog's at risk of dying because the dog ate too much. Right. And bones cause problems, and and at the very least, feeding feeding people food to your dog can result in diarrhea right. and vomiting. So it can be a, so, an issue for you later yeah, after tomorrow. Dogs should eat dog high food. quality dog food. Yeah, yeah. Thanksgivings for for people. You can give them lots of loves and pets, and mm -hmm. feed them a little extra dog food. But it's yeah. it's best not to eat people food or the really. wet food tomorrow. Yeah. Give them the nice the treat tomorrow. Um, well, some great advice because I know a lot of people will probably end up. Yes, with that conundrum yes. tomorrow. They, so. can, they can save on veterinary bills by feeding the proper food to their pet. Yeah, okay. He's really sweet. He's loving the, the attention. Uh, we have Cheryl on the phone today with a question. Go ahead, Cheryl. Yes, I, ha I um, uh, rescued an abandoned uh, uh, calico cat, and, and he uh, knocks things off uh, all the time, and I can't figure a way to get him to stop knocking just, you know, constantly. Right. Well, it, it's, a, it's a, first of all, it's a she-cat. If, if it's a calico, it's a female. And, <laughs> and you will not be able to keep your kitty from getting on the counter. Uh, you can buy these motion detectors. You can get them at Halloween. Uh, they like to put them by your door at Halloween. Sorry. And they scare people when, the, <laughs> when guests come to your door. Well, those motion detectors are perfect for put it, putting on your count, your counters, and when your cat gets up there, it'll scare them and make them jump down. I'm just laughing at the irony so, here of, yeah. you know, you, you're well. trying to keep a cat from getting into things and this little guy is all over you. Surrender to your cat. You're not, yeah. not going you're, you're to be able to get him to, to do what you want. All right. Well, tell us a little bit more about him again. Where's his, that animal His, his name's Riley, Riley, and he's a character and a half. He's yeah. at the Cedar Rapids <laughs> Animal Care and Control. And if somebody doesn't come get him, I might take him home because yeah, that's how nice a kitty he is. He's hamming it up for he, the camera he's today. He's a really nice kitty. All right, veterinarian David Graff, thanks for joining us. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Right. And stay with us. We'll be right back with the final check of your forecast.